Changing the phone number on your PlayStation account, it sounds straightforward until you're knee-deep in menus, wondering if you've accidentally unsubscribed from your email instead. I've been there. Let's break it down, step by step. First, use your PS5 controller to navigate to the main dashboard. It's that home screen where you instantly feel cool, but overwhelmed by endless options. Go to the top right corner and select your avatar. This is basically your digital selfie. From there, select Profile, and you'll see your account details. Here's the thing. They don't call it Change Phone Number right on the interface. You'll need to be a little savvy. Click on Account Management. Once you're in Account Management, scroll over to the Sign In and Security tab. This is where PlayStation keeps all the sensitive stuff hidden behind clicks and dropdowns. You'll find the phone number option tucked in here. Select Mobile Number. You'll see your current linked phone number and an option to edit it. Here's the moment where, if you're like me, you silently hope you remember the pin you set two years ago. Don't worry, it'll prompt you. You'll get a pop-up where you can input your new phone number. Tip, double check the country code. If you've moved or are visiting another country, you don't want to later realize you can't get verification texts. Once you input the new number, PlayStation will send a verification code to that number. Common pain point. If you don't get the text, it's likely because your number blocks short codes. Check your phone settings. Enter the verification code on your PS5. This final step confirms that the number is actually yours. You'd be surprised how often people input numbers they can't access. A rookie mistake that leads to frustration. Boom, that's it. Your phone number is now updated on your account. This means secure logins and password recovery will now rely on this new number. Pro tip, save it somewhere safe offline too. Always cover your bases. Why is this critical? Sony uses your number for two-factor authentication, 2FA, which is increasingly non-negotiable for staying safe online. Think of it as keeping a teenager away from the keys to the Ferrari of gaming accounts. One thing people mess up, they assume changing their number here updates it for all Sony services. Nope, if you're using services like Sony Rewards, you might want to update your info there separately or risk missing notifications. Lastly, if your old number is tied to other accounts, like email or banking, update those too. It feels tedious, but trust me, nothing ruins a weekend faster than being locked out of something important because texts go to an outdated number. All this hassle for one update, right? But here's the bright side. In 10 minutes, your account is more secure, you're less vulnerable to hacks, and your future self will thank you for the headache you just avoided.